In this video, I'm going to show you some tricks and tips of how to have a successful art exhibition. Maybe you've had one before and it's not been as good as you wanted and you're worried about doing another one. Well, I'm going to show you how you can be much more successful with these few interesting strategies and tactics. Hi, I'm Joy Fay, and I'm an artist and I'm a teacher. And in October, I was um, doing an exhibition. Now, I've been preparing for this for quite some time. And, you know, as usual, we're always a little bit quite nervous of <laughs> doing an exhibition. But I decided I would go about this in a more of a strategic way. And that's what I want to share with you today. I actually had, oh, 10 months notice for this uh, show. So I decided I would work in a series of paintings. Now this is an interesting concept because rather than just putting lots of different kinds of paintings in an exhibition, it's much easier and much more interesting for the viewer to see a series and what's more with a series you can tell a story. Now Underline that. You want to be able to tell a story with your painting. Now, over the 10 months of preparing this, I've gone through various stages of my painting and I told the story of that um, whole series of what happened and how it occurred and what I was thinking and feeling. So I could discuss each painting with the person who was looking at it. And you know, it made such a massive difference. It made a difference because I could really engage in a conversation with that person to create new interest in the painting and help them get a feel for what I was doing and what it meant. And you know, people love the story. The first painting I sold was um, to a really interesting couple. And they were looking and they were looking and I started telling them the story of this particular painting and how the whole collection had come together. Well, <laughs> they not only bought that painting, but they bought another one as well. And when they came back to pay me the following day, there was somebody else standing in the gallery also looking at the paintings. And this guy relayed the story that I told him about this painting. Now I can imagine that when he has visitors to his house and he put the painting in his dining room, that he's going to be able to tell that st the story of that painting. Now it's obvious then, it's not just the painting itself, it's for the client, the buyer, to have a real insight and excitement about when they look at that painting, they know something more about it. It's not just an image on a wall. It's got something involved in it, which they can talk about. Now that has made a massive difference. So I'm going to take you now through how I've laid out the exhibition, why I've laid it out that way, and what was the reason for putting it together in this way. So here is the exhibition in situ. This is the room and um, how I've laid it out. So I've laid it out strategically with starting with the paintings that I had begun with right through to the last series that I finished with. Now here's one of the paintings I sold and um, another one and then this other one here I sold these within the first two hours of the first morning, which was amazing. So you can see now it sort of continues around with um, the, the collection developing as it goes. So I can tell the story of how it went from there, um, another little one that I sold, and then three others here that, uh, from that series. 
and you can see here now how then this developed into the new series which was a continuation. So I could tell the story all through how the exhibition was put together which really interested people in the whole, the whole thing not just one specific painting but how it came together and the story behind it, what was going on. So one of the other things that I felt was really important was to really label the paintings well and to uh, type them out. So I did them on my computer and I printed them out and each painting had an interesting title and the title in itself is something of interest to a potential buyer. If it's just, you know, abstract one, abstract two, it doesn't say anything. You've got to say something in the title. <laughs> so I spent a lot of time just deciding on what I was going to call the paintings and where that feeling came from and then type them out very neatly and then put them on the wall. The other thing I did was to actually put a little um, note on the wall of the series. So the first ones I'd called the Andalusian series and the second one I'd called Finding Connection series. So again, they're talking points. They're something that you can instigate a conversation with, with your client. And it's about building those relationships that make all the difference. <laughs> I keep going on about it, but I can't stress it enough because it ceases to become random. And when somebody is looking at it, you can focus in on a specific point because, you know, let's face it, it's always kind of quite difficult to talk to a stranger, just dive in there. You know, do you want to sell, do you want to buy my painting? No, you want to build up a relationship with that person first, get them to have a feel about you, your work, your creativity. So they're buying into that story. And I really can't stress that enough. And it's made such a difference to how this exhibition came together. So then I'm going to carry on and show you what else I did to create interest. So now, if you're, um, if you're lucky, or if you don't have, see if you can find a table to lay things out on. And this is what I did here. I laid a lot of little paintings that I'd done. I'd put borders around them. I wasn't selling them for too much money, but instead of putting them in a rack, I laid them all out so people could see them clearly. They didn't have to rummage through. They could see them out, they could hold them up, they could have a look at them. And I was amazed. I think I sold five of those, which you know I've never done before because I've always had them in a rack. So actually putting them out that people could pick up and look at and then I could talk to them about made, again, a very big difference. I also had some cards that I'd printed with some envelopes and I sold a lot of those too. But to have them out so people can see them and you're not sort of having to make them work to look at things <laughs> makes a big difference. So there we are. Um, I hope you've got some interesting takeouts from this because, um, you know, there were a lot of people exhibiting in the um, exhibition that I was doing. I think they were in the village. It was like open weekend, you know, um, an art walk around the village. And quite a lot of people sold, but quite a lot of people didn't. And, um, you know, it's curious. And when I went and had a look at some of the other exhibitions, you know, there was nothing to draw me in of interest that I could talk about or ask questions of or that they could ask me. So um, I found that this strategy of working in a series to start with, be prepared, give yourself time to get your exhibition together, even if it's small, even if it's only 10 paintings, it doesn't matter but make it so there's a continuity in it and that there's a story behind it that you can tell. Make sure that you label the pictures with interesting titles. <laughs> so you're guiding people. You want intros, you want icebreakers <laughs> to be able to have that conversation with people. And you're there to develop relationships with people. Once they're a client, you know, they're taking your painting home. It's very personal. They're going to be living with it. So they want to know about you. They want to feel, 
you know, great about what they're buying and spending money on. You know, it's wonderful when you do sell a painting and, you know, you feel as if you're giving some part of you away. <laughs> so you want to make that as interesting as possible. And um, I hope that you will have some interesting takeouts from this video. So do leave me a comment of maybe previous experiences that you've had from exhibitions or if you've got any questions please just ask because it's you know it's an ongoing conversation we're always talking about you know how we can sell at exhibitions and I hope this will be helpful so leave me a comment and do uh, do the notification bell for more uh, videos and more tips and tricks on you know being successful as an artist and of course, like, <laughs> give me a thumbs up because it helps, you know, share this video to as many people as possible. So thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.